Jerry of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Hello there, Rags, old boy. Where's your master? <laughs> Glad to see me, huh? Oh, you're pretty cute. Hi, Patsy. Oh, I knew you must be around someplace, Jerry. You know, it's a wonder Rags doesn't lose that tail of his. Don't worry, it's on good and tight. <laughs> I used to wonder about it when he was a pup. Then I'd pick him right up by the tail. And the tail stayed on? Yep. So I know it's on for good. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing with your costume? I'm taking it to Clara and then the uh, wardrobe. Oh, gee, it's pretty. What's all this stuff? Looks like diamonds. The rhinestones. They're made of glass. Oh, those are the things that sparkle so when you're working under the light. Mm -hmm. Gee, they're pretty. You sure look swell in that costume. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jerry. That's a nice compliment. Want to come along and meet Clara? Sure. We haven't anything to do right now. Besides, I, I want to meet her anyhow. When Mr. Randall and I came back from the police station, he, he asked me the to... police station? What are you doing there? They got Loran. No. Yep, money and all. Oh, Jerry. I'm sure glad they caught him, because otherwise I might never have found out about Uncle Dan. Well, it was lucky, wasn't it? Uh oh here we are. I almost walked by the wardrobe top. Seems funny calling it ten a top. Oh, you'll get used to it. Clara? Oh, hello there. Are you busy? Of course I'm busy. But goodness knows I'm never too busy to see you. Clara, this is Jerry. I'm glad to meet you, Jerry. I've been hearing about you ever since we left Midvale. I'm glad to meet you, too. Now, Patsy, don't tell me you've torn that costume again. I'm losing some of the rhinestones. See, here, around the neck. Let's see. Hmm, gracious me. I'll say you are, and all around the arms, too. Well, I guess that's where most of the strain is. Well, this is too much to fix for tonight's show. I'll tell you, if you leave this here after the performance tonight, I'll get it to you first thing in the morning. You're a dear, Clara. I'm sorry I'm such a nuisance. You're never a nuisance. And my goodness, I wish I could say as much for lots of other people in this circus. Clara, uh, Mr. Randall asked me to see you. Mr. Randall? What for? Well, you see, he says you've been having some trouble around here. Well, I'll say I have. Don't tell me you know anything about it. Well, no, but I'm going to try and find out. A regular boy detective now, aren't you? Well, Jerry certainly helped a lot to catch Lorraine. You know, he found the missing piece of the gun. Rags really found it, but I helped. You don't say. Now, if you just tell me, Clara, exactly what happened around here... Of course I will. The thing that burns me up the most is that they've taken my gold thimble, the one grandma... Oh, no, Clara. Not the one your mother got from her mother. That's the one. Oh. And I care more for that thimble than anything else in the world, seems like. What a shame. Well, uh, maybe you just dropped it someplace. Oh, Cerie, you know how careful I am with that. I always leave it right in my work basket. Uh, have you got a pencil? Sure thing, right over there on the table. Why? Uh, thank you. I think I'll write everything down. There. Uh, a gold thimble belonged to your grandmother. What else? <laughs> my, you are businesslike. Half of the gold braid that was left over from the uniforms for the band. What happened to the other half? It was all over the floor, and my goodness, was I mad when I saw that mess. All over the floor? Oh, that's funny. 
Anything else that's valuable? The most valuable things in the whole wardrobe were those jewels. And when I come in and saw them... Oh, Clara, don't tell me all that jewelry is gone. Oh, it'll take forever to find such lovely things again. I'll say it will. But the worst is having to clear up the mess every morning. I'd like to give those thieves a piece of my mind. Every morning? Yes, sir, since we got to this town. Let's see. We move tomorrow night. Why don't you stay and watch tonight? And get hit on the head? <laughs> oh, thanks, not me. I'm not that curious. Gee, I'd love to stick around and find out what's going on. Oh, Jerry, Mr. Randall never let you do that. I've got it. What? Why don't you clear away all the sawdust on the floor? Nan's sakes, our feet would get damp. Can't stand on bare ground all day. Oh, I mean before you leave tonight. Then at least you'd have a chance to, to get some footprints. As it is, you haven't any idea who's hanging around. You can't get footprints in sawdust, you know. That's right. Police can always get footprints if they can't get fingerprints. That's a good idea, Jerry. I don't try mind trying at once. Sure. Just before you leave tonight, you sweep all the sawdust away from the door here and, and away from in front of those tables and, and trunks and things. Sure, I will. I'd just like to get my hands on the thieves that stole my thimble. I'll be in first thing in the morning. So don't you step on the ground till we find out if there are prints or, or anything around there. I won't. Don't you worry. <laughs> Hmm. I sure am. The, the one who stays on the lot all night? Yeah, that's me, all right. Well, I'm Jerry. Oh, howdy. And this is my partner, Ray. Put out your paw, Ray. <laughs> well, well, well. So you're the little critter that's being talked about so much, huh? <laughs> Is Ray being talked about? <laughs> oh, 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 I'll say he is. He's getting to be about as important to this circus as anyone else in it. You hear that, Ray? <laughs> I guess you got something to live up to now. <laughs> he just finished his last walk around the swamp. Oh. They were swell tonight. Uh, but I had something special I, I want to ask you about. Well, fire away, sonny. Well, you see, it's like this. Claire's been having trouble over in the wardrobe. Yes, I hear tell some pranksters been bothering her. Oh, it's much more serious than that. It, Mr. Randall asked me to help sleuth around. You mean like a detective? Uh-huh. So I thought I'd ask you if you'd kind of help. Keep your eyes open. I'm going to come back later tonight. Maybe Rags and me can detect something. Well, maybe so, but uh, be careful about pussyfooting around where I might catch you instead of the real culprit. That would be awful, wouldn't it? Yeah. So you better not prowl around without giving me the high sign, Drew. I won't make any mistakes. I hmm. sure won't. <laughs> oh, there goes Patsy. I I've got to see her. I'll be back later. Come on, Rag. Yes, and I'll keep me eye out for you and watch the wardrobe top, too. Patsy! Patsy! Oh, hello there, Jerry. I was just taking my costume over to Clara's. I, I was waiting for you. I've been talking to the night watchman. We're going to find out something about what's going on. Tonight, I hope. Oh, I hope so, too, Jerry. But you'd better be careful. After all, you don't want to get mixed up with any desperate characters. Don't you worry about me or Rags. We can take care of ourselves, can't we? <laughs> Say, Patsy, mm -hmm. Bumps and I are going over to the restaurant to have something to eat. Won't you come along? Bumps said I could ask you. <laughs> well, thanks, Jerry. I'd love to. Here, I'll just leave this inside. Wait just here just a minute. Hey, wait a minute, Patsy. Don't go in there. Why not? We don't want your footprints all over the ground. Oh, of course. I, I forgot. Here, let me do it. There, you hold that open so I can see. Hmm, Claire must have left early tonight. There, see? I, I climb up on this box and leave it right there, safe on the table. Without getting my feet on the ground at all. Oh, thanks, Jerry. Lucky I was here. He'd have forgotten all about Clara getting rid of the sawdust. Come on, let's get going. Bumps has already started. We'll meet him there. I'll race you. Oh, gee, it's no fair beating a girl. What do you mean, beating a girl? Listen here, I'm a pretty good runner. Yeah? You're on. Come on, Rags. We're going to race Patsy and beat her so bad. All right. You ready? Sure. On your mark. Get set. Ready? Go. <laughs> I'll say you can run. Because you're just a girl, huh? You can't do anything. I, I didn't say so. No? Well, you're just as bad as... You said no fair beating a girl. See, you're ahead of me already. <laughs> yeah, but Rags is ahead of me. Oh, I'm out of breath. Had enough? No, of course not. Unless you're tired. <laughs> not me. Hold that bump. Right ahead of us. Hi, Bumps. Oh, hello there. What on earth do you two in such a hurry for? Oh, oh no. Well, 
Guess I beat you after all, Jerry. You sure did, but, but not much. Well, now, what's this all about? Well, Jerry thought I couldn't run. Well, you ought to know that Patsy would be a pretty fast runner, a girl who flies around on trapezes all day. Well, well she has to have pretty good lung power and pretty strong arms and legs. I, I'm finding that out. Hey, look, there goes Major Mike. Golly, that package is carrying his most bigger than he is. A banana sticking out of the top. What on earth can he want with so many bananas? Oh, maybe he's going to treat some of his friends in the sideshow. He's awful cute, isn't he? I like midgets. He always seems like they're grown-up babies, and you ought to treat them careful like. Well, you don't have to treat the major so carefully. He knows how to stand up for himself. Well, here we are. Come on in, Patsy. Let's sit up at the counter. Well, you're the boss. <laughs> come on, come on here, Jerry. Now, what are you looking at? Oh, I was just watching Major Mike. He's sure in an awful hurry. Come on, Rag, listen on. So you say the Major can take care of himself. Oh, he certainly can. I've traveled with him for years. He's a scrappy little fella. He's always getting into scrapes because he thinks people are likely to take advantage of him because he's so small. <laughs> he always does have a chip on his shoulder, doesn't he? Gee, that's too bad. Imagine going through life thinking everyone's going to be mean to you. Uh, evening. Can I take your order? Yeah, yes. Uh, what do you want, Patsy? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a nice big scoop of... Good night, look at that dog go. Rags, Rags, come back here. He sure went after that cat. Don't wait for me, Bump. I, I got to get Rags. Goodbye. Rags, Rags, come back here. Aw, oh, Jen, I was hungry, too. Rags. Golly, he, he, he's gone back on the lot. I'm certainly getting my share of running tonight. Rags, you bad dog, come here. Rags, get away from there. Let that poor cat off the tent. Come here, you. Come here, I say. Now, watch you ashamed of yourself chasing a poor little cat. Well, I should think you would be. Look at that poor kitten. Now, what's wrong, huh? Where? Gee, it, it does look as if something's moving over there. Golly, in front of Claire's tent. Rags. Shh. Look. Can you see Claire's tent? Yeah, way at the other end of the lot. Something big just went in there. God, we, we'd better find that watchman. I couldn't make out what it was. He, he got in there so fast, but I certainly saw something go in that wardrobe just as plain. Come on, Rags. L looks like we've happened on something. We've just got to get that watchman. <laughs>